In this problem, we are looking at solving for n. So in this particular problem, what we're trying to figure out is right now you have $2,000 saved. How long is it going to take that $2,000 to grow into $5,000 at 10% annual compounding interest? So this is one of those problems that what we're doing is we're trying to ask the question, how long was it take for this money to grow into the $5,000 that we are desiring or needing for it to be. So in this case, N is what we're trying to calculate. So again, N is what we're trying to solve for. Our IY in this case is going to be 10% interest as given in the problem. Our present value in this case is going to be a negative 2,000. And you want to hit 2,000 then hit the plus minus sign at the very bottom right hand corner of your calculator. Don't hit the subtract sign, not the same thing. Then hit present value. And so we want to do this because again, this is a cash outflow when you are initially investing in say a savings account, an annuity, whatever the case may be, that's a cash outflow. When you get back the $5,000 at the end of however long that N is, then that will be a positive inflow. So you want to put zero in for payment. And again, the reason you want to put zero in for payment, if you have a payment that is in your calculator from a previous problem, it will mess up your answer and you do not want to do that. So $5,000 is going to be the future value. So then we go back and compute our N. And our N in this case is going to be 9.61 years. So that is what you are doing when you're doing this type of problem is what you want to do is this third from the top row, the N, I, Y, P, V, P, M, T, and F, V. You want to go and look at all of these, read the problem, and then say to yourself, oh, okay, how long exactly is it going to take me to solve this problem, and what is the missing variable? And as long as you figure out what the missing variable is, and you compute, and then that variable after everything else has been entered in, then you're going to be able to solve the problem, and it's going to be very routine. But the more examples you do of this, and the more you work of these, the better you're going to get at it, and the quicker it's going to be, especially in a test setting where everything is heightened, there's a little more anxiety, there's a little more pressure, but the more you do repetition-wise, the easier this is going to get.